Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to do a quick video on how I get objects from 2D to 3D in OpenSCAD so I can 3D print them. Um, it's really simple. You think about it as you draw it on some graph paper and a 2D plot. I'll call it a polygon plot because not all shapes uh, are square or cylinder or sphere like they're defined in OpenSCAD. So to get these odd shapes, uh, I'll go ahead and, and just because it makes it easier for me to think through it, I'll plot it on some graph paper and then I'll plot it uh, via points in OpenSCAD. And it's really just like XY points, right? X being the horizontal, uh, you know, Y being the, I want to say vertical, but it's not vertical. It's not up vertical. Z is up vertical. So, but you know, you get what I mean, X and Y. So bottom, top, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, Hard to explain, but you, you know, back to your basic math you took in school, x-axis, y-axis, plotted on a graph. And that's basically what we're doing. We're plotting the x and y, and then what we'll do eventually is we'll use this command called linear extrude, and we'll bring it up as tall as we want it to give it a 3D shape. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you think about it on some graph paper, this is your x, this is your y. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just plot out a shape and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take that over to the computer and we'll translate that into OpenSCAD. Okay, guys, so here are some points plotted out. If you remember how you did this in math class way back when, like this one is at negative 3x, negative 1. Why? Because this is 0, right? So here, this one's at negative 5x, 1. Why? Because we're up in the positive y now, right? So this is 0 going negative here, 0 going positive here. On the X, we have zero here going negative and zero here going positive. So then we go up here, we, you know, we have uh, negative one, three. So negative one on the X over one, up three on the Y. Here we're all positive. I uh, forgot my parentheses. Hmm. So we have one, three, right? And here we're all positive, five, up one. Uh, and then down here, we're back into the negative. Um, Actually, we're, we're positive on the X, three, and down negative in the one. So there is our, let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit. There is our points that we've plotted. Now, what we can do is we can connect those together. So after those are connected together, you kind of have this football looking shape, I'll call it. Uh, it's not a standard shape you can get in OpenSCAD without maybe plotting points. So now, let's go ahead and take that over to the computer, and I'll show you how we can do that plot the same way on the computer, and then uh, we'll extrude it up and make it a 3D object. Hey guys, here we are back at the computer. Uh, I just typed in this code real quick to uh, show you what we can do from 2D to 3D here in OpenSCAD. Uh, let me just clean this up a little bit and we'll start over. Just wanted to check and make sure everything worked properly. Okay, so if you remember those points we had on the graph paper, um, we're going to use this polygon command. If you, if you don't know OpenSCAD, this is your um, editor window. This is your preview window. And then this one down here kind of hiding right now is the console window. Um, so we're going to use this command called the polygon. And what you do with the polygon command is you plot points, just like you would on that graph paper. So here's, here's our points located within these outside brackets. Each point is bracketed. Uh, separated by commas. We have negative 3, negative 1, negative 5, 1, so on, so on, so on, just like we had on our graph paper. But then we also add this paths, and what the paths does, that draws out your shape. So basically connect your points or connect your dots, starting at your first one, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then draw back to 0. And when you preview that, that's when you end up with a 2D shape like this. Now, let's say, well, we need this to be, I don't know, a lot taller. What do we do? Well, all we do is we add a line in and we type linear underscore extrude. Oh, no capital though. Don't, don't do what I do on those mistakes, but linear extrude, and then we put a parenthesis and we add a parameter height let's make it four and then we want to do everything under us so we'll add in the squiggly brackets to uh, 
make that happen. To make it basically linear extrude this. And there we go, we're up to height four. Now we can also make that as tall as we want. Let's make it 40. And it's really, really, really tall. Um, but yeah, let's go back to four just to, to show you what we're talking about here. Now, other things you can do, uh, you know, to get a little more advanced with it, you could, you could take that same um, plot point and cut out the middle with a difference, make two parts that fit together. Um, I'm going to get into more in-depth on how I um, create parts and iterate over parts. Uh, that'll be in another video, so I don't want to go too much into that. But that's really the basics on how you get a 2D to a 3D object. Hey guys, that's all we have for today. Uh, just a quick tip on Open SCAD when you're designing some odd shaped parts uh, to get it into from 2D to 3D. It's probably the easiest way to do it. I'm going to have another video coming up on how I make a part doing this exact same thing. So, uh, you know, just, just look for it to come and, and, and just an example on, on how I make some parts. But hey, thanks for watching. Uh, by the way, check out my website, uh, rickbolt.me. Uh, I'm redesigning that right now. Hopefully it'll be up by the time this video goes out. A uh, lot of reviews and things on there about things I use and, uh, you know, links to some of the videos and, and playlists that I think are a little bit better put together than, you know, what you see on YouTube. So with some background, maybe weaved in there with text, you know, that only you can get from a website. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.